the Nikki. What up, man? Are you serious? Have someone call me when you get out of surgery, all right? You should drive out there. Ricky's been there for you guys your whole lives. The devil's in the details, my friend. <laughs> it worked. Atlantic City, here we come. What we got? Ricky's cancer is back. Why does it have to be cancer? Won't everybody get worried? Yeah. And that's going to take us right into the World Series. Ricky The best friend we never had. Mm. My baby's gonna be born six weeks early. I was born six weeks early. Oh, oh shit. I wanna know where the hell you guys were tonight. We called every hospital and there was no record of a Ricky Stanicki. You know, all we did was tell one lie. Hundreds and hundreds of times over many, many years. If the truth does come out, my marriage is over. What if we hire an actor to play Stanicki? Rock Hard Rod, X-rated rock and roll impersonator. I do a whole act, wall to wall, top to bottom, jizz jams. Thanks for coming out tonight, ladies and gentlemen. So horny to be here. This is a really bad idea. Oh, oh Jesus. I've been cold turkey in the booze. Ricky Stanicki's in the program, remember? Oh, Rod. It's not what you think it is. It's just piss. I'm a hyper every time, not my mouth. I want you to admit that Ricky Stanicki does not exist. Hey, mas puta! Stanicki! This is Ted Summerhays, my boss. Ted, nice to meet you. Digging the suit and the seedlings, man. The seedlings. The hair plugs, they're new, right? This is my hair. We're gonna lose our jobs. That's my best friend. She a real bad on a dance floor. Epic night, am I right, guys? Slow you throw it out and come back in. That's my best friend. I was really taken with your friend Stanicki. He's got brass balls on him, that guy. That's why I hired him. That's awesome. You just said... What did you say? Just say it one more time. We can't let him out of our sight. Not only did I miss the birth of my son, but I let some porno Peter Frampton impersonator snip his... And we're done. Stanicki, you are unbelievable. Show's over, Rod. It's Ricky. Ricky Stanicki isn't real! My job sucked. I had no friends. But now I have all those things. Oh, are you a fraud, sir? What are you talking about? Best friends. That's my best friend. We gotta get rid of him. Every time he tries to make a point, it's like he's smoking invisible dogs. Dear God, it's true. To support. Now it looks like I'm cupping the balls. This is easy. These dew drops are banging. How was a field trip, boys? <laughs> yeah, we got to hand feed the giraffe. Yeah, the sucker was eating right out of her palm. You made this? How old are you guys? 16. 14. Okay. You idiots are going to end up on the side of a frickin' milk carton. I'm grounded. No more running free range all summer. I've got one week to find a legit job before my mom goes full tilt DEF CON. We need to bag some summer jobs. You think you can hook us up? You can ask if they need an extra hand. With what? That thing. Snack Shack. I think they bid it out at the city council meeting. I want to pitch you an idea. Okay. You bid $2,000 on the Snack Shack at the swimming pool. Actually, we bid three. <laughs> it's a total shithole. Yeah. It's our shithole. Let's get to work. We need this fucker spick and span in case some hollow inspector comes sniffing around. Moment of truth. Goddamn, fellas. It's not shit. We're gonna be rolling in so much fucking dough this summer. Here you go, two dollars. Hey, can you call me a Diet Coke? Thanks. You know that shit? So what's your name. Are you fucking with me? What are you doing? So I fuck on it with ketchup. Charging 75 cents more. That's fucking genius, dude. Fuck dogs! Get your fuck dogs right here! There's been a pattern with you two. An escalation. Oh. A very dangerous escalation. It's open season, <gasps> limp dicks. You never know when, you never know where. That's piss, ain't it? You're unbelievable. This is fucking epic, dude. I just want to this summer. Feel me? Want a little advice, homie? Make a move. Any move. Give me a fuck up, kid. Cool. You're unbelievable. Nice wheels, douchebag. Welcome to high school, where survival of the fittest is acted out on a daily basis. In other words, poppy.
popularity is all that matters. Me? Are you lost? That's me. Growing up, I didn't have many friends. I had science. You spend every weekend by yourself. No more science. I'll just do science in my head. I'll know if you're doing science in your head. You're doing it right now, aren't you? The first place winner of the science fair is going to be invited to attend SIT's elite summer science program. The SIT scholarship is mine. Well, this is riveting. Telling me not to enter the science fair is like telling me not to breathe. I'd give anything to be popular. Jeez. What are you doing? A popularity chemical. It's going to require a lot of chemistry. You could probably use a partner. Aren't you going to introduce us to your little friend? He's not a friend. He's a colleague. The gum contains a chemical. When you chew it, the chemical is released, causing you to give off pheromones. It's as simple as that. I don't get it. This gum will make you popular. This is huge. We could win a Nobel Prize. Can we sit here? I love your hair, Casey. You do? It's like poetry. History has been made! This is the kind of breakthrough that could change the course of human history. The world's gonna be better because she is that different. Some people at school actually know you're my sister. It's embarrassing. The chemical is dangerous. This pack of gum that could bring the world to its knees. <laughs> I want to talk to you about Sophie. She's the one. Check out this bling. What? Marrying Sophie to get Canadian citizenship. It's brilliant. No, Dad. I've been asked to interview for the executive chef position at the Chateau Frontenac in Quebec City. Quebec City, Canada? Yeah. Well, further north. Look at this place. 400 years of history. They're from New York, you're a Rangers fan? Oh, I actually don't follow hockey. <coughs> I love figure skating. Figure skating? The costumes, dazzling. So you're the famous Ruby Collins. And you must be Gordon. I've never got your family name. What the f Yeah, she told me she'd been with women before, but this is her ex. Good work. She lied to you. She didn't lie. She was protecting my feelings. Pop the question before she switches teams again. <laughs> oh, my day was great. I tutored your brother. Je connais un gars pour mille piastres. Il peut um, smash her legs. A little bit done, you heard, Dane. I slaughtered a little baby lamb with your father. Oh, wow. Oh, and I also found out that you and Ruby used to be lovers. I brought you here because of your talent, not because of our history. I have the night off. Are you serious? Living in the city with my family really would be amazing. It feels like I can't do anything right, unlike Ruby, who can do absolutely no wrong. When a woman like that sets her sights on something, she always gets what she wants. Want to see him blank, Gordo? I got a fish! I love your daughter, and I'm not giving up that easy. I am the best at car chases! At this point, you probably all think I killed Mammy. Uh, uh, I didn't come in. I didn't come in. What's happening? I know, I'm just... It's so beautiful. Come here, Oh, hell no! Move. Hey, PG-13, please. What was that? Oh, Lord, it's the Queen Bee. Regina George. Don't look her in the eye! You could be really hot if they change, like, everything. I met a guy in the summer and I left him in the spring. Welcome to health and human sexuality. We'll be getting into abstinence, of course, then followed by in the spring, condoms and choking. You're learning things now that I don't know how to teach. Are you okay in there? We're concerned you're either doing drugs or having a toilet baby. Ew. We, as women, have to be able to support each other. Get in, loser. Welcome, Katie. You're never gonna believe what I found this morning. Your burn book. Mom, go make snacks. For sure, for sure, Regina, yeah. Do you like gum? Sure. 
Oh, no, I don't have any. I, I was just... You're a mess. We will help you, Katie. Why are you dressed so scary? It's Halloween. Katie, if you don't dress slutty, that is slut-shaming us. That's just unprofessional. What? What's this? <gasps> We're gonna make her pay. All we've done is make Regina hotter and revive the wet look. Dance break. Who wrote all this junk? Katie pushed her. Regina really should be lifting through her glutes. Look at this thing! I can't Sexy. even see it. It's like a face breast. Do you remember Katie? Incorrect. You have to pick a French name. Chanel. No. Celine Dion. No. Beyonce. The mystery of the obscene little Hampton lettuce is causing widespread distress across the nation. Edith Swan takes it up the <laughs> and she loves it more than Christmas Day. Only words about that. She sucks ten <clears throat> a week minimum. Holy heavens. In the end, I think it's just jealousy. Rose Gooding, you are writing these wicked little letters to Edith Swan. Why would I send a letter when I can just say it? I'll get you in the wall, sir! She's heinous. You want <gasps> in the nose, you old beetle. Beetle? Right. You're charging her. What's the evidence? Let me out, you work Similarities in the language. I've got a daughter at home. Why would I risk it all? In prison, Rose may find some kindred spirits. In prison? No, no, not the murderers or the rapists. I'm thinking more the drunks and the queers, maybe. Just trying to find a bright side. I believe we may be charging an innocent. If you meddle in my case, these will be on your wrists. She makes me wonder. I think you've been set up, Rose. Is there anyone who'd want to do such a thing? You got a pen and paper? I like you, Rose. I hate her! <laughs> you don't like the idea of me leaving this house, do you? You are a serial liar. No. We'll find who wrote these letters. Oh, God! Oh, Jesus! Oh, I noticed they say foxy ass a lot. Nobody swears like that. What would you say? You look like Queen Victoria shoved. <gasps> you daft old. Wakey-wakey, little graduate. Oh, no. I'm so proud of you. You're my everything. Morning, Suze. Please don't call me Suze. <laughs> Sorry, Suze. I just don't get what you see in this guy. I love him and he worships me. But honey, you're starting university. He's starting nothing. Happy grad, everyone. We're the emotional morons. Hi. Baby, I'm gonna miss you so hard. Wait, what? It's Take your it. favorite. I, I love you so much, sweetie. Do you feel like you're gonna throw up too, Suze? <laughs> Hi, honey. Calling to see how you're settling in. Hi, honey. Just checking to see if you got my care package. Me again. Hope you're still alive. Oh, I just feel like I'm losing her. <laughs> we gotta see this as a whole new beginning. You're going through perimenopause. Think of it as things starting to wind down inside. Yeah, but what if I don't want them to wind down inside? Gage jumped off the water tower. Wait, what? Can you go check on him? Suze, is that you? Hey, hello, Gage. Dad, this is Suze. Oh, your precious daughter. Yeah, she dumped his ass. She did? I was hoping that you could watch him until I get back. Me. Hi, Suze. This is going to be sick. You can stay in here. Nice. A lot of good times in here, Suze. Wake up. You're coming to work with me. Yo, good morning. Susan? Oh, hi, Paul. Who's your friend? This is my daughter's ex-boyfriend. Slash future husband. What the hell, Mom? Why is Gage staying with you? Sweetie, I have left you several messages. Hey, Suze. You OK? I'm taking you out tonight. Why would you bring me here? I thought it'd be good for you. So how do you and Gage know each other? He used to date my daughter. Ooh, look at you go! And I'm just trying to keep him alive. This one uh, goes out to somebody very special. Oh, dear God. He's a really good kid, Rick. And he just needs someone to just look out for him. If you like him so much, then why don't you keep him? Sweetie, I just want to see you, OK? OK, well, I don't want to see you. Why do you let her treat you like garbage when you treat her like gold? Because she's the only thing that I have in my life. And I am terrified of losing her. You're the boss, Suze. 
drinking. I grabbed one of the teas off the counter. I hope you don't mind. It's my menopause tea. Well, I think it's quite comforting. I just want a house. I want a place I can call home, Nick. That's the American dream. Four walls, a patch of grass, a place to write my novel. What are you doing here? Get yourself a starter condo, like reasonable people do who have no money. Two hundred and forty thousand with live-in. What does that mean? The house is immaculate. It's worth every penny of the asking price. Her husband passed away years ago. They never had any children. I live there until she croaks, and I get the whole house. It's almost too good to be true. Oh, oh! You want me to help you make the hot water colder? You must be Astrid. Did you hurt yourself? I fell. Oh! Uh... Did you break anything? Because if you break anything, you pay for it. Well, it was nice to meet you. He has offspring. This is one of my kids. I have a contested will in my future. I'm gonna sue you. And everyone involved with you! You exhaust me. Uh... You are an angel, Phil. I want to feel your life. I'll evict you before the week's out. a series of very bad days. What if she lives another 20 years? Do you wish death upon her? Not tomorrow. God, you saved my life. No, no, no. Every time I see the light, I see your face. Just because I'm standing over you backlit. What kind of moron buys a house under such circumstances? Are you crying? I love you, Lindy. I love you, too. Really? Yeah. Are you on birth control? No. Let's fix that. Can I ask you something? Sure. I saw a pad in the garbage. It's not. No, I, I cut myself shaving. Weren't you the one telling me you didn't get yours until you were, like, 17? I'm sure it's fine. Do you want to go see a gynecologist? Lindy appears to have MR. KH syndrome. What do you mean, appears? All of this is missing. There's like some stuff I've been meaning to talk to you about. What is it? I just need some time to work on myself. The vagina really is just an amazing muscle. So just think of this like training, right? Bob's your uncle. <laughs> Jax, nice to meet you. Don't you wait. You're all so randomly hot and you don't even maximize it. That kind of looks really good on you. Thanks. I'm starting to get the vibes that you don't like me. I just want you to feel like a normal teenage girl. I'm not normal. You're still you. And I think you're pretty perfect just the way you are. This is the moment we've been waiting for. This has been the worst few months of my life because I was embarrassed what people would think. I love all of you exactly as you are. Being 16 is just bloody hell, isn't it? Yeah. If you were going to give me a consultation for plastic surgery... It's not what I do here. But just if you were, what do you think you would do to my face? I'd probably start with your mouth. Like lip filler? No, I would sew that sucker shut. You would follow you home. You would pipe with the lights down low. Mm. You would die as you knew. You was crazy, but you know too. You I'm a loser. Your Facebook group is right. I have no life. 
What did you ever see in this psycho? One, two. Oh, I messed it up. I need a coffee break. You haven't even clocked in yet. I haven't been getting paid for any of this. Oh. Give me a double macchiato. I brought you some hot chocolate. Oh, you're interrupting my stream. Okay, bye, June Squad. You would want to set a fence. You think you Well, thank you, Chad. What? Ew. I heard the pharmacy got robbed. What the hell happened in here? What's your name? At Forever June on everything except Snap at June Forever. No, honey, your real life actual name. June. June. This is not Queen June's private castle. June the Almighty. Oh. June? Oh my god, the poor man that ends up with her. I think I'm gonna start doing some investigatory work. Y'all heard anything about a pharmacy and Rob? I don't watch the news. All I do is smoke. Wait. Do you feel safe here? <laughs> gonna have to get you. Get you with the I'm looking for information. Hey, baby boo. June Squad has a lot of time on their hands. Take it easy. I'll tell you what you want. What are you doing here? I'm collecting evidence. You watch too many movies. You are not a police officer. Help us out here. God, mugshots are so sexy. Can I take this home? No. no you not. the tag You got robbed. You got detained. This is very serious. Maybe I should bring him in. Which one of you can deputize me? Twice a day with food. What a cute TikTok bio. Are they gonna eat all that? Elsa, please, can you just eat something for a change? I'm eating consciously. I find it so important to teach our kids how to reduce their consumerism. Home, home, home. She gave me the tea. I don't know exactly what's going on here, but I think Miss Novak is manipulating our children. I'm out. She can't be serious. Don't you get it? It's a question of faith. I have to rely on you. Take good care of our child. I hereby declare you members of Club Zero.
You want to be a normal teenager. I got news for you. You're not normal, Doris. Who's Doris? Uh, I am. Do you think this is the right place for him? You'd say that about any place. My brother's dying. He hasn't talked in years. I'm so sorry. My wife passed away. My dad died when I was three. Christ, it ain't competition. <laughs> <laughs> I think I should start sleeping at Suncoast so your brother doesn't get too lonely. He's my child. When he's in pain, I'm in pain. I'm your child, too. Oh, what about God my God's sake, give me a break. You can come to my house if you need a place to party. My mom won't be there, and you can do whatever you want. Oh my God, I, I have to tell everybody. Um, but who, who are you? Everyone says this neighborhood is scary, but like, when you're in it, it's like, not that scary. Thank you. It's really hard taking care of sick people. Sometimes you need a break. <gasps> I dare Nate to kiss Doris. He could have died if you weren't here. Once your brother's gone, he's gone. And you will miss taking care of him. You miss everything. All the good, all the bad. We're gonna have fun again, you and me. I'll learn how to be fun again. Doris, old lady's name. <laughs> it was my grandma's name. Oh. She died the day I was born. <laughs> my God, is there any conversation with you that is not like thoroughly depressing? <laughs> <to me? laughs> Robin, American. Hey, what are you? you? Like a school? What's wrong with you? It's fine. It's time to assign band buddies for the trip. Put me with Carter. Me? No way. You're scared. I'll go. Are you lost? Will you buy some beer? When those girls were pounding on you, you should have fought back. Welcome our new Mary Magdalene, Isabella. Should we go talk to her? What for? Dude. Do you want to make out? Why aren't you out with your friends? I don't know where he is. You are allowed to have more than one friend. What do you think? Very pretty. Where were you yesterday? Care for a drink? Are these the kind of people you want to be friends with? You're a couple of freaks. Are you impressed with yourself? Take your stupid music and put it in your bum. What are you doing? Carter, Carter, stop! You kids are gonna learn to get along if it kills you. Are you okay? I don't know. Robin! Dying. Yes, dying peasants, though, don't we think? Footsteps coming closer. They're at the door. Oh, dear. Humble Joan, I challenge you to single combat. A fighting queen at last! Your throne is lost. When I was a girl, I watched my father punish traitors. He would cleave off their arms and shove them up their asses. That's nice. And then he would cleave off their asses and shove those up whatever remained. Greetings, peasants! Your queen needs clothes. My name is Bobbick. We'll walk to Fingerstone Rock to find new soldiers for the queen. You're gonna need a horse. They all died. A dragon, then? Yeah, they're not real. <laughs> Cough. Someone's helping her. Someone clever. I was born in a bin. When we were little, we couldn't afford clothes, so we made our own out of nettles. Ouch. That was my first word. It's all over for Queen Dagon. Absolutely fantastic. If I were to compose a ranking list of my favourite evil diamonds, she'd never make top 20. Let's not be too hard on her. Nailed on bottom five. Bottom two, even. I have heard she lurks here in the East. And she's done poos in your well. <laughs> Don't leave 
Second vision. Second of safety. Second of safety. Hey. Hey. Eat my jellyfish. Who threw that? Who dares to defame your queen? Feet first. place is either Dagon or Magnus the Flagellator. <laughs> and Magnus did a lot more charity work than people remember. It's sort of overshadowed, you know, by the flagellations. Look at that. This is actually a depiction of a swan. But what do you see? What do you feel? I feel you don't live here. Ronnie! She could stay here, but I can't get a dog. She's my sister. There's a difference. Yeah, there's a difference. You can have sex in front of a dog. Today's a big day for Anna. They're doing one of those big auctions. If I want to work at a top art gallery, I got to get a good recommendation. And there is no better recommendation than Claire DuPont. Good morning, everyone. Erwin's clients are about to walk through that door, and I will not allow them to see anything less than perfection. You. What's that massive oil spill on the back of your shirt? It's not like we work for a sociopathic perfectionist or anything. Oh, God. Hello? It's Claire, your boss. I need an extra assistant. I just got invited to go to London with Claire DuPont. <laughs> You're not on this flight. I put you on one that leaves in four hours. An economy. You've just been upgraded. First class. I'm William. What brings you to London? Our London branch has called in the director of the New York office. Wow, you seem a bit young to be the director. Yeah the youngest director in company history. If you're not too busy being a swanky art director, I would love to take you out. I lied to him about so many things. You are here for work, not for play. I got you the reservation. Tickets for this evening. Can you invite me inside? Excuse me, what happened to your manners, Downton Abbey? Mum, she's the director of an auction house in New York. I would like you in charge of my auction. I'm gonna do it. I'm jealous of your Hannah Montana lifestyle. The Santos! A word, please. You're a New Yorker. And being a New Yorker means that you fight every single day. Rocky Balboa said that. Isn't he from Philly? He moved there from Brooklyn. Ich wüsste recht, wer in mein Büro kommt. Ich glaube, es wird ein Serverroom. Oh. Alles Gute zur Pensionierung! Wow! Eine Kreuzfahrt. Ja. Das ist super! Guten Morgen. Mm. Alles. Der Speiswagen ist um 10 Uhr hinten. Mm. Ah. Gerade mal geschafft. Auf dieser Reise hätten wir uns wieder ein bisschen näher kommen. Wir sind doch nahe. Die ganze Zeit sind wir nahe. Das ist ein bisschen schlecht. Peter? Du redest schon mehr mit dem Heinz als mit mir. Äh, bleibst du noch? Ich bin erst 65, ich bin noch nicht 90. Gute Nacht. Findest du mich nicht mehr sexy? Wo ist alles? You have to turn the ship. Calm down. I do not calm down. Reisen, neue Leute lernen, kennen. Ich will noch ein mehr von meinem Leben. De faire tel drama, mon âge. C'est comme ça, les relations. Wir sind 42 Jahre verjährt. Es gibt doch jetzt nur ein Hoch. Du willst doch Abenteuer. Und überhaupt sind die pensioniert sind, sind die irgendwie so kaka. Alt werden ist halt nichts für Feinde. 
Also machen wir nicht. You ever feel like a fraud up there? Teaching? No. My name is Lousy Carter. I'm a literature professor. I don't like you lounging out while I'm talking to you. I have a troubling medical diagnosis. Sorry about this. I'm pursuing a grad student. I'm fine with how you look. I have no, you're not, you, you're not my type, first of all. Thank you. This is my stalker. I was a big fan of the film you made. The animated film from the early aughts. This is my best friend. You're the laughing stock of the entire faculty. Teaching what amounts to barely one book at the graduate level. I'm sleeping with my best friend's wife. I feel incredibly guilty. You should too. I don't feel guilty. Monster. All your behavior is odd to me. I keep expecting you to sound sort of worldly and professorial, but instead it's more like someone who's somewhere in between 14 and 16. 15? My ex is annoyed with me. I'm too tired to argue with you about it. Everyone is tired, Jesus. My sister is frustrated. I, I wanted to say that growing up, it felt like there were two children and it wasn't me and you, it was you and mom. Even my therapist is fed up. You shouldn't sleep with our friends' wives. But with Gail, I don't know. Yeah, Gail, that's not going to end well. Tune in to find out what happens to Lousy Carter. Questions? Les temps sont proches. Sire, vous voici enfin parmi nous. Ne tardons pas. Nous livrons bataille pour la cause dont vous êtes la souveraine. Ici, sur la terre. Vous n'avez pas vu un ovni Un quoi Un ovni. Les humains sont attachants. C'est pour cela que nous allons envahir la Terre tout entière. Le prince des ténèbres doit être enlevé de la surface de la Terre. Celui qui touche à mon autre dit, il y a deux cas de sa gueule. L'entreprise est vouée à l'échec. La gendarmerie sur le coup. Mais les humains, Johnny, sont nuls. Euh, faites attention à ce que vous dites. Vous vous adressez quand même à la gendarmerie nationale. So what Les forces adverses sont redoutables. Même si on ennemi, t'es vraiment belle. Tu veux que je te la dégage Mais s'ils ont la force, on a la sagesse. T'as pas peur du démon, toi J'ai surtout pas peur des hommes. C'est quoi, ça C'est une belle bande de losers. C'est peu de le dire. Oh, ouais, on s'en prend plein la gueule. À la bataille Et quatre viennent Mon empire Allez, où la voiture Ouais, elle est là, la voiture qui est partie. What? Gerald, come on, give me my life. What you... <laughs> Gerald, what are you doing? <laughs> Despians, I'm going to announce our first female director, Sam Clifford. Whoa! <laughs> Where's my spotlight action? Okay, we'll do it some other time. Holy shit. Everyone quiet. I'm your director. I'm a director. You got a gig. Yes. Mm, I'm happy. How do you know? Could I be tricking myself? Mm-hmm. What's behind every powerful man? A family with money. A woman who gains power by proxy. Us girls, we gotta stick together. That glass ceiling is no joke. My glass ceiling is blocking me from getting up to yours. <laughs> <laughs> That part. Monstrous read, everybody. Just a little over three hours. There are 20 monologues back to back. Imagine you're climaxing the entire time. Don't have to imagine. <laughs> Boom! I've brought in some coaches who are gonna help you refine your work. Food. I didn't even know you had that. I promised you a treat. A bajillion donuts. Oh, Hello. Oh, my God, I love <laughs> donuts. You see? They make me so happy. Gas donuts, huh? Robbie, enter stage right. He's taking two donuts. I can teach you to get standing O's. Thank you, but I kind of want to find my own way. Silly. They hurt my damn 
damn ankle. Hey, my ankle is double jointed. What's new is the scratch. Ah, oh, come on. Oh.